suppose what we've done is a lot of the basic work on the system, so we've established the experimental tools like the identifying uh, the phosphorylation sites which allows people to identify the phosphorylation. So we're, um, my own interest is actually particularly in, in the role of NPK in cancer at the moment and we, we are studying, um, which I guess is a disease of ageing, uh, and we are, we are studying the role of uh, AMPK in cancer which is, is, is quite complicated because it, it can be both a positive and a negative thing depending on the context. It's already known that it's a therapeutic target in in type 2 diabetes, uh, that's been known for, for a long time and in fact one of the, the drug metformin which is um, uh, prescribed to more than 150 million people worldwide, it's the kind of frontline drug for treatment of type 2 diabetes, it, normally people are started on that as the, as the first choice drug if sort of lifestyle and diet doesn't work. Um, and that, there's good evidence from animal studies that that, that at least partially acts through activation of AMP kinase. So there's, there's already a drug out there which is, is very widely used, uh, which, which, which works through activating AMPK. One of the interests now is whether you can repurpose drugs like metformin or related compounds for other disease disorders, including presumably eventually uh, you know, Alzheimer's disease.